science, kids, books. So I was the world's most obtuse, frustrated, and discouraged science student. Science was like this great impenetrable cloud that was covered in heavy gauge steel and then had spikes fused to it so I couldn't access any of the openings that might be there for me. It wasn't the teacher's fault. I had just had a dismal foundation up to that point. So by the time I got to a place where there were science classes that had stuff for me to learn, it, uh, I already kind of had this helmet of I can't do it on, and then I didn't have any foundation for getting it, so I didn't. But what it took for me to love science was teach science. And that is the classic thing, isn't it? You learn through teaching. Kids learn through teaching. Here's a secret. Everybody learns through teaching. And it is the best way to learn. Um, but by teaching science, I realized just how exciting it was. In my job at the Center for Teaching Through Children's Books, I receive a lot of advanced reader copies of books to review. And um, I have received a set of books, which is now out. So it was, it's a later sending. Um, and there are, ew, um, seven, seven of these treasures. Now these are put out as board books, which I think is quirky, a bit of a shame, because teachers at higher levels are not going to bring a board book into their classroom to teach a concept. So I would encourage the author to also print these up, actually in the format that I received them in the advanced reader copy, which is a paperback. This is Quantum Physics for Babies by Chris Ferry. Now, I did a little bit of research on Chris Ferry. Um, he is a physicist by day. He's a father of four young children, and he writes children's books to bring everything together. So this is the knot that ties his life together. Um, these are great books. And I would say that for anybody who's trying to grasp science, the basic rules of science, and any teacher who wants to give a foundation, you know, this is clean, clear, and you can read a lot into it. And this is okay, so quantum physics, right? And half of you have just fallen asleep. Watch this. This is a ball. This ball has energy. The ball is there, the yellow is the energy. This is a ball. This ball has zero energy. No sunshine energy powers on it. Here we get into it. All balls are made of atoms. So there's an atom, and he has had it broken up into its component pieces. Now I can't show you the whole book, but it goes on to explain neutrons, protons, and electrons. It goes on to explain what electrons are and what they can and can't do and where they can and can't be within the atom. See how clean that is? See how far you can take it? If it works with a ball, what else does this work with? Can you imagine the young minds who are going to grab this and the young minds who may never understand something like this and it's just in this, in this, like that, right there, boom. Oh, it's fantastic. Here are the ABCs of science. D is for Doppler effect. I'm so happy. General relativity for babies. This is a ball. This ball has mass. <laughs> I just love the real language. And maybe that's what delights me most of all. Because we are constantly talking down to our children. We use baby language because they're cute, little, like puppies. But babies are puppies. Stop it. Don't put words in my mouth. But you know. We use this little tiny language for our fuzzy friends, and then we use it with our babies because they're little, they have big heads and big eyes, and they make cute noises, and they bond with us. These are supposedly out now. They, uh, the author is Chris Ferry, and it's published by Source Books, Jabberwocky. Gosh, makes me happy. I would suggest going to your... Um, baby book section of your bookstore or your online retailer, but preferably your physical bookstore, and uh, take a gander at these things. They are, you know, not for babies anymore, but start them as babies. Lay the foundation. Yeah. But these scientists on your hands before long, lock up your electronics.
have babbled long enough. Until next time, take care of each other, stay kind, and stay nerdy.